Hello everyone, Brit here, and today we are in my little testing area. If you feel like you've ran out of decorating ideas in Minecraft, well, then the wallpaper mod is going to be perfect for you. This showcase has cute and fun decorative wallpapers for Minecraft. Woo! In the wallpaper mod, there are 16 different craftable wallpapers that you can use to decorate your house with. No more looking at those ugly dirt or wooden walls ever again. The wallpapers are quite easy to craft. For any of the 16, you only need two sheets of paper and two different dies. If you're wanting to remove the wallpaper, you need a wallpaper scraper, which I will show you how to make. It is crafted with a piece of paper, an iron ingot, and a stick. And it takes your wallpaper right off the wall and back into your inventory. So let's jump right into our different wallpaper designs. First off, we're going to look at the ancient wallpaper. You need two pieces of paper, dandelion yellow, and cocoa beans. You get 12 pieces of wallpaper and it's best that you start at the bottom left because it will make a design as you go up. Wow! As you see, it looks like ancient like hieroglyphics or something. That's, I don't know what that is, it's weird. All right, are you ready for this awesome sound? If you right click, ah, makes the most pleasing sound ever. Next up, we have just blue wallpaper, two pieces of paper, light blue dye, and dandelion yellow. I keep forgetting that it goes up. So it's four high, so if you build your houses, you better have four high. But look how nice this is. It's really pretty. I really like this one. Next up, we have forest wallpaper. You have rose red and cocoa beans. And you do actually have to put these in a specific order, so I hope that I was showing them all in the right order. <laughs> this one is really cool. If you're building like a fairy garden or a fairy house or something that's like mystical. I feel like this would be perfect for that. Next up, we have Cityscape. This one is purple dye and dandelion yellow. And this is pretty much exactly what you would expect it to look like. This is a beautiful city. Woo! So you can actually use this for like a window, a faux window. Pretend like you're up in a skyscraper or something. That would be really cool. Okay, moving on, we have the Harvest Wallpaper. This one uses Lapis Lazuli and Magenta dye. This one to me is very regal. It looks like it could be curtains for like a theater or something. I don't know if people make theaters in Minecraft, I would assume, but fancy stuff, fancy stuff. Next up, we have the Lattice Wallpaper. This one is a really cool one. Gray dye and cocoa beans. Look at that. This one's really awesome. I feel like you could use this pretty much anywhere. This could be used in like a study or outside in a garden area or even just in your bedroom or something. I like it. I like this one a lot. The next one is the library paper. This is gray dye and cyan dye. This one is, you guessed it, it's books. Lots of books. So if you're making a library shelf, instead of actually needing to put books on a bookshelf, you can just have a giant bookshelf on your wall. Next up, we have the lovely wallpaper. This is very girly. It's pink dye and bone meal. This can be used in like a girl's room or a boy who likes pink and hearts. We don't discriminate here. So yeah, it's very cutesy. It's not my style, but ah, uh, you know, I like the flowers on it. Next up is a really cool one that I actually do really like. This is the Lunar Horizon. It uses cyan and light blue dye. Ooh. This one is so cool. I feel like this is what I would use like every time in my bedroom wallpaper. I would probably wallpaper my whole entire house of this in this if I could. The next one is the Manor wallpaper and this is a very cute one too. This one can be used all over your house. This is pink dye and cocoa beans. Look how cute this one is. I love it. I love the little flowers, the little cyan and pink flowers. Next up we have the mushroom mural. This might look familiar to you guys. Light blue dye and orange dye. Let's see if you know what this is. You should get it by just like the very first click, but yeah, lo looks a little familiar, huh? 
Next up, we have the princess wallpaper. Pink dye and light blue dye. This one I'm not a huge fan of, but it is pretty. It's like a curtain tied back with a big bow and like wreaths behind it. It is very princessy. I feel like you could um, put one on either side of an entrance and make it look like curtains are hanging. Next up, we have the tropical vista. This one is lapis lazuli and cyan dye. Ooh, so paradise. It's really awesome. It's like the ocean in the sky. Ah, oh, yeah, I could just kick back and pretend like I'm on the beach, except I'm not on the beach at all. Uh. Next up, we have the sky wallpaper, which is lapis lazuli and bone meal. This one's kind of like the other one, the tropical one, except for the clouds are on the bottom and the sky is just on top. So this one's kind of like you're in an airplane flying high up in the clouds. You see it? Can you envision it? It's awesome, huh? Next up, we have an awesome one for Halloween. Or if you just want to scare people and have a spooky haunted house, it's the spooky wallpaper. It's orange and purple dye. So spooky! <laughs> Actually, it's really cute. Little pumpkin heads. Oh. And last but not least, we have the sweets wallpaper. This one is rose red and cocoa beans. This one is super cute. Wait, that's not sweets. I did it wrong. All right, so that was a perfect example of if you put them the wrong way, then it messes up. So there you go. Cocoa beans on top, rose red on the bottom. That creates the sweets wallpaper. If not, you get the one that we had already done. So how yummy is this wallpaper? Oh, and the floating one. Ugh. It's so, oh, just, I wanna just take a bite out of it. Mm. This will be super fun in like a Candyland castle world. Or if you just like torturing yourself with late night sweet cravings. Drool. Okay everyone, that is it for today's Minecraft wallpaper mod review. I hope that you did enjoy it and now you get all kinds of extras that you can add to your walls in your Minecraft world and it's super exciting and awesome. If you enjoyed this mod review, please leave a thumbs up and come visit my channel where I do tons of Minecraft stuff. It is Brits Games, and you can find me in the links in the description below. If you'd like to download the mod, you can also find that link down in the description box as well. Thank you guys for watching, stay creative, and I will see you next week. Goodbye! Let it go! Let it go! What the? This isn't Glee. Who are you? How did you enter my castle? Well, we were just wondering um, if you happen to know anything about the snow in town. Oh, that. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.